With it costing between $15 and $20 to balance one rim, um, I really want to come up with a different solution. During the course of a season, if you're doing multiple sets, it's really expensive. So I went online, did some research, and I came across what's called a static balancer. It's also referred to as a bubble balancer, and Clement to see why. Um, it does actually have kind of like a bubble in the middle. And this unit actually costs around $60, which was on sale, but you can really typically find it between $60 and $70. It's pretty simple to use. Um, I've been using it now for a little over a year. Um, I've done probably at least 10 sets on this now, between 14 inch rims, 15 inch rims. If you were to use a much larger rim diameter, maybe like some 17s or 19s, I honestly don't know if it would be as effective. I would imagine it would be, but again, I have not tried doing that. So all you need to do is, once you take it off, the rubber that we collected on the track, um, also any of the previous wheel weights that were on there. Take the rim, put it on the balancer, and you want to center it. So in order to center it, all you need to do is push it down, get it in the middle here, and you're about to tell it's centered. At this point here, you have your wheel weights. Um, I have two different sizes. I have one which is a quarter ounce, and then I have the half ounce size. I typically use the half ounce size for the most part. So the goal here, again, is to get the bubble in the middle of the rim. What I do is I just place it right on the side. And I now have it right in the middle, actually, just with these two. So at this point, I'm ready for the next step. So we now have the rim on the machine, and in the middle here, you can see there that there's the bubble balancing part. Your goal is to take that bubble, use the weights, and get it so that bubble's in the middle. Once you've done that, the rim is effectively balanced. That's pretty much it. So I now figured out where to put these weights approximately to get the uh, bubble in the middle of this red ring that you saw here in the circle. And I'm just going to take this where it was, move this over, these just peel off, right here. So we got that on. Put it back on. And actually, it's really close. Um, my goal, personally, is it's not going to be perfect, but I'm going to get it really close to the center there. And again, as you get a little bit more experience using this, it becomes a little bit easier as time goes on. The first few times, I did have a difficult time. But just trial and error. So this I was able to get in the middle. There is a heat of backing to the weights. However, I do recommend just for precaution to keep these on. You take some of this tape. Take the weights. done. Just saved yourself $15 to $20 just for this one. Then you can do the other three and it'll be good to go. Again, um, there's more information on GoAheadTakeTheWheel.com in the blog section, which will be shown in the link at the bottom of the screen. And that's pretty much it.